Pagenkoff, number 10, 6'3", senior. Dason Youngblood, number 14, is 6'2", junior. Frank Stain is 6'6", freshman. Josh Newbold is 6'7", sophomore. And Hunter Sch Schofield is 6'8", junior. For Highlands, Raquan Mitchell is 6'3", senior. Desmond Carpenter will run the point, number one. David Hall, number 11, a 6'6", senior. Will Johnson, a 5'10", junior. And Sammy Barnes Tompkins, a transfer, 6'3", junior. Ball goes up and we're underway from Las Vegas, New Mexico. And quickly, the Trail Blazers go at it. Go right at the basket. Schofield goes right at the basket. And he's going to go to the line and shoot too. Will Johnson picks up the fall. 76% free throw shooter for a hunter. Again, I'd like to thank the director of media relations, Steve Johnson, for providing us with all the information we need on Dixie State. And the Trailblazers with an early 1-0 advantage. As everybody knows, this is the final year that Dixie State alley oop underneath. Thank you very much. Raquan Mitchell puts it down. Last year for Dixie State and NCAA Division II. Next year, they'll be part of the Western Athletic Conference. Dayson Youngblood, who averages 10 points per game, drains that one. Desmond Carpenter with it up on top. Over to Barnes Tompkins, gives it up to Hall. Hall over to Raquan Mitchell. Raquan steps back, hits a three, yes. And Raquan Mitchell, that is his 20th three-point basket of the year, and the Cowboys off to a 5-3 advantage. Trailblazers back the other way, and going in for the uncontested layup is Josh Newbold. Barnes Tompkins makes his way to the basket, goes up, and he puts it in. Leading score on the Cowboys, 24.7. Ball's going to be called on Raquan Mitchell. Head coach of the Dixie State Trail Blazers, John Judkins, in his 15th year. 270 wins at, Dex at, at Dixie State. Overall, 554 wins if you go back to his days at Snow College. Three-point basket's off, no good, and it's going to go to New Mexico Highlands. Michael Dominguez in his first year as the head coach of New Mexico Highlands, taking over for Craig Snow. These two teams, of course, met in that famous game last year in the first round of the RMAC basketball tournament. Up at Dixie State, a game which Highlands won on the route to the tournament championship. Barnes Tompkins puts in another one. Chat wins, getting ready to check in. Hall comes up with it for Highlands. Barnes Tompkins, long three, yes! How about it? Tompkins off to a good start for Highlands. Turnover, here comes Hall. Here come the Cowboys. Hall looking to kick it out. And a foul is going to be called on Dixie State. Sammy Barnes Tompkins with seven points already for Highlands, seven out of the 12. Cameron Chatwin will come in as. 6'9", senior out of Mesa, Arizona at a Desert Ridge High School. Desmond looking to kick it in right underneath the, the basket. Court runs in an east-west direction. The Cowboys shooting down at the west end. Three-point basket's off, no good. Will Johnson went up for Highlands, couldn't bring it down. The drive and what do we got? Offensive fall. Is going to go against Dixie State. Schofield picks it up. That's his first. 
12-5, Cowboys lead it early. Raquan Mitchell brings it up. Gets a high screen from Hall. The drive and reverse layup hits the bottom. They bring it out to Desmond. Raquan for three, how about it? Raquan's filling it tonight. He has a couple of three-point baskets. Here come the Cowboys on the turnover. Barnes Tompkins with it. He sees the lane. He'll go all the way. Try to get underneath. Now they kick it out in the corner. Raquan for three. Yes! Timeout. Dixie State give it up to the Cowboys. Work. 18-5 is a score. Highlands leads it. Raquan Mitchell with 11 already for Highlands. 7 for Barnes Tompkins. Cowboys start off hot beyond the arc. Four out of five. Mercy. Back the other way comes Dixie. All the way to the rack layup. Up and in. Good. Out of the timeout. Chatwin with two. Off to our right. The Dixie State bench is into it. Laquan Mitchell with it up on top. Guarded there by Youngblood. Ten to shoot. Raquan for three. I'll tell you. Man. He is flat out on fire. Underneath. Reverse layup. Off. No good. Barnes Tompkins comes down with it. Sammy's going to go all the way. And they're going to get him for carrying the basketball. And check it in. will be number 20. Andre Wilson. Timeout on the floor. The Cowboys off to a good start for Highlands. Cowboys will pick up on the press. Young blood triggers it in. They break it. They bring it across. Cowboys get back on defense. Up on top. They get it underneath. Now they go over to the baseline. They skip it over to the left. Three-point basket on the way. Hits the back of the rim. No good. Here comes Raquan Mitchell. Pulls up. Raquan. Mercy. Five out of five to start the game from beyond the arc is Raquan Mitchell. Youngblood with it up on top. Here's a three from the top of the key. That goes down and in by Chatwin. Chatwin with his sixth three-point basket of the season. Laquan brings it across, gives it over to Desmond Carpenter. Desmond calling the play. Gets everybody lined up. Raquan on the way, and that's his first miss of the night. Here comes the Trail Blazers all the way. They get it underneath, a whistle and a fall. Second time tonight, the Trail Blazers have been called for the offensive fall. First substitution for Highlands. Jalen Domina Lovato will check in. Young man out of Albuquerque. Another young man, Desmond Carpenter, also at Albuquerque, brings it up. Desmond's done a great job the last two years for Highlands running the offense. Spinning almost lost it, and now they do. Desmond went in a little too far, and Raquan couldn't get it. Raquan requesting a sub. And Jalen Munn. Young man out of Cleveland High School in Rio Rancho, New Mexico, checks in. Fabulous high school career that young man had. He is going to be something special by the time it's all over. He's a 6'4 freshman. They hit the high post. They drive to the basket. The shot up and in. Count it one for Schofield. That one's going against Jaden Munn. Yeah. 
at the free throw line will be Hunter Schofield. 6'8", Junior comes in averaging 17 a game. He's a 76.5% free throw shooter on the year. He puts it down. Came in 26 out of 34, make it 27 out of 35. Desmond up on top. Gamino Lovato. Hall. They bring it on over to Munn. Up on top. Three. Yes! Desmond Carpenter hits his 11th three-point basket of the year. There comes Wilson. Wilson will go all the way, and he puts it down and in. Andre Wilson, the 6'3", senior. Domino Lovato up on top over to Desmond Carpenter. Desmond to Harrison now in the game, number 35. Great look underneath. The shot goes up and in. Great look by Domino Lovato to find Harrison. Stolen away by Domino Lovato. Gives it up over to Hall. He'll run it up on top. Jalen with it. They swing it on over to Desmond. Ten to shoot for Highlands. Three on the way. It's the back of the rim. No good. Great hustling rebound by Hall. And stripped away that time by Peg Pegankoff. Three. Rims off. No good. Desmond goes up high and brings it down for Highlands. Desmond spinning, kicks it out. Domino Lovato with it, bounce pass over. Now the ball's loose on the floor, and timeout's going to be called by Dixie State. 12.04 to go. Cowboys are going to lead it 29-15 for this commercial break. Cowboys shooting 73% from the field. 70% from beyond the arc. But it's still early, folks. We've got a long way to go here. Cowboys will keep, excuse me, keep the pressure on. Pagankoff brings it across. Great job on the offense by Dixie State. And Jared Green puts it up, the 6'8 junior. Out of Blackfoot, Idaho. Jalen. Semi Barnes Tompkins back in the game. Lost it. Trailblazers come up with it. In the corner, they go underneath with it. They kick it out, swing it left side. Three on the way, that's money for Cameron Chetwin. Chetwin now with eight. And he's two for two from beyond the arc. Up on top to Raquan Mitchell. Raquan pulls up three. Oh, man, is he feeling it. Trailblazers break it. Bring it up on top. Pagan Koff will set it. Left side, look for the pick and roll. All the way, the kick, the three. Off, no good. Harrison brings it down for Highlands. In the corner, that's Jalen Munn. Jalen, and I'm going to say he stepped out of bounds. Youngblood comes back in for Dixie, and for Highlands, David Hall comes back in. And Patrick Bolos comes in, the 7 3 junior.
three on one break and Bolos will pick up the fall. But Dixie State's gonna have to earn it at the line. As a team, Dixie State shooting 68% from the stripe. Schofield shooting 76.5. Came in 26 out of 34 overall. It's a 10 point Cowboy lead here. Coming up on the halfway mark of the first half. Domino Lovato. They go underneath with it. Slide back, jump shot off, no good. And here come the Trailblazers. Right side, the layup up and in, good in transition. Schofield for two. Dixie State starting to settle in here. In the corner. Barnes Tompkins goes up and it won't fall. He follows it up, no good. Youngblood brings it down. Here come the Trailblazers again. Three right sides off, no good. Tipped out of bounds that time by David Hall. Will Johnson comes back in for Highlands. Willows goes out. Andre Wilson, the 63 senior, comes in for Dixie State. Young men out of Inglewood, California. Stolen away. Here comes Roquan. He'll go to the rack. He'll put it up. Well, fall by right there, full of follow. Mercy! Will Johnson. Dunk you. But the answer at the other side is Frank Stain. So the Cowboys are already with a couple of highlight reels here in this first half. Lead it by eight. Shots off, no good. Here comes Newbold. Out of bounds, and it'll go to Highlands as Desmond Carpenter will come in for New Mexico Highlands. And Jacob Nichols will come back in for Dixie State. Desmond, Cowboys have it in the corner. They're looking underneath, and a foul's going to be called on number 22. That's Frank Stain, the 6'6 freshman. His first. Desmond Carpenter will inbound it for Highlands. They get it up on top. David Hall. Right side to Barnes Tompkins, the floater in and out, no good. Wilson down with it for the Trailblazers. And he lost it, and it, it'll go back to Highlands. Things have kind of slowed just a little bit. Desmond again will bring it down, the 6'2 junior out of Albuquerque. All the way over and right through the hands of David Hall. Substitution coming in. Pagankoff is coming back in. Cowboys will keep the pressure on as Youngblood will inbound it. Pagankoff with it. They bring it across and they set it. Eight point Cowboy lead here. In the corner, the three rims off, no good. Raquan Mitchell brings it down for Highlands. Here's a long three off, no good. By Barnes, Tompkins, long pass up court it goes. And right there underneath the basket for the easy deuce is Youngblood. Six-point Cowboy lead here. Defense, 
Desmond up on top. It comes to Raquan. Eight to shoot. Desmond sees the lane, kicks it. Barnes Tompkins for three, rims out, no good. Here comes Youngblood with it. They get it underneath. The shot goes up and it goes down and in by Frank Stain. Cowboys start at the game shooting 70% are down to 54%. Dixie State has caught fire as they have risen their average to 60%. Barnes Tompkins shot goes in. And for Sammy now that's nine. Three right side, yes. Dason Youngblood. Out of South Jordan, Utah. And Youngblood has seven. Raquan off, no good. And they can tie it or cut it to one. Rims off, no good. Desmond comes down with the rebound for Highlands. He'll slow it up just a tad bit. A good one here tonight at Wilson Complex. Sammy Barnes goes up and he's fall. A lot of substitutions coming in for Highlands. Domina Lovato will come in. Nichols will check in along with Green and a media timeout. From the field and four out of 10 beyond the arc. Cowboys shooting 14 out of 26 for 53.8%. <coughs> and 8 out of 15 for 53% beyond the arc. Cowboys have yet to attempt a free throw. Trailblazers are 3 out of 5. That was their first one right there. Second free throw on the way is on the way and good. The Cowboys go back up by five. Right side with it. Fifteen to shoot, plenty of time. Lost it. And another offensive foul is going to be called. I'll tell you what. It may have been in the best interest of Dixie State because David Hall already had his sight set on putting one down. Third time tonight, Dixie State has been called for the offensive charge. Barnes Tompkins over to Domino Lovato. A whistle and a fall is going to be called on Wilson. Frank Stain will come in, the 6'6 freshman. And for Highlands, Raquan Mitchell's coming back in. Cowboys by five, coming up on five minutes to play here at the free throw line will be Domino Lovato. 81% on the season for Domino Lovato. That one goes down and in. 9 out of 11, make it 10 out of 12 now on the year. Rebound brought down by the Trail Blazers. Have it in the corner. They get it on top to Dason. The kick and a fall is going to be called on Highlands. Will Johnson picks it up. And for Will, that's his second. Darius Harrison, the 6'7 junior, comes back in. There you go. 
And another foul is going to be called on Highlands. This one on David Hall. That's his first. They get it in. They go underneath with it, spinning, and it goes to Highlands. Off the knee of Jared Green, they're going to say. Desmond brings it up. Guarded there by Pagankoff. Lamina Lovato. Back it goes over to Desmond. Hall. Back to Desmond. 13 to shoot. Desmond lost it off his foot. The other way into the rack and blocked by Raquan Mitchell. Get out of here. Not in my house, not tonight. Lamina Lovato at the other end, but there for the follow is Darius Harrison. Three off. Coming up with it. There goes Harrison. Harrison skips it on over, and the Cowboys will bring it out. They go underneath with it. 17 to shoot. Plenty of time. They get it out to Desmond. Desmond, and nobody home. Right between Hall and Raquan. Timeout on the floor. The Cowboys lead it by 8, 41-33. Garden Schwartz team sales. Laquan Mitchell has 20. Barnes, Tompkins has 11 to lead Highlands. Chetwin still with eight. Youngblood with seven. Schofield with seven. To lead the Trail Blazers. Good ball game here tonight. Another offensive fall. That's number four tonight. Couldn't ask for anything better than this. A ninth-ranked team in the nation. Taking on the eighth-ranked team in the nation in scoring. What a way to spend a Friday night, and thank you for being with us. Eight to shoot for Highlands. Stolen from behind. Great job by Dixie State. Pagankoff's going to bring it up right side. One of the few times tonight the Cowboys had the shot clock all the way down inside 10 or 8 seconds. Not their style. Barnes Tompkins hit it out of bounds. They get it in over to Chatwin. Spinning and a travel is going to be called on Nichols. No argument from head coach John Judkins. 15th year at the helm of Dixie State. Next year they'll be in the whack along with New Mexico State and Grand Canyon and Denver. Here they are leading the Armac their final year in Division Two. From the corner, yes! How about it, Barnes Tompkins? Two on two break, the pull up, the shot won't go. Desmond brings it down, here comes Highlands. Desmond behind the back, kicks it out. Barnes Tompkins for three, yes! Back to back. And suddenly he's got 14. Make that 17. 
Three out of five beyond the arc, including back-to-back -back threes right there. 117 here till intermission. The drive, and yes, they're going to say no. It was a, no offensive foul. Coach Judkins cannot believe it. First time tonight, he's been this upset. Five offensive charges have been called against the Trailblazers this half. And he's having a word or two with one of the officials off to our right. Right side, the Cowboys have it. Back up on top to Desmond. That's Hall, seven to shoot. Hall gets in and what do we got? A fall is going to be called on Jacob Nichols of the Trailblazers. Oh, actually, it's called on Chatwin. Hall at the line, an 81% free throw shooter. First one on the way is good. Hall 14 out of 17 on the year with that free throw from the stripe. Knocks them both down. Timeout Highlands 48.8. We're coming right back. Customers get more at Cal Forty-eight point eight seconds here in the first half. The Cowboys leading it forty-one thirty-three. One of those games where it's been everything advertised. Good Dixie State team, a good New Mexico Highlands team. Cowboys came out blazing in the first half, shooting over seventy percent. They're currently shooting 56.7%. That one's on Harrison. Nichols at the line is 77.8% free throw shooter on the year. At one point, the Cowboys are shooting 70% from the field, 73% from beyond the arc. They've cooled off a little bit. They're shooting 58%, almost 59 from beyond the arc. They're 10 out of 17. Dixie State shooting 50% from the field now and 33% from beyond the arc. They normally shoot 37%. Second free throw coming up for Nichols. With 27.6, Cowboys will probably hold it. Milk it all the way down. Desmond looks back at head coach Mike Dominguez. Down to 10. Down to six. Here's a three. Off, no good. Rebound, Barnes Tompkins. There for the putback. How about it, Darius Harrison? 20 minutes of basketball have been played, and we got an exciting 20 minutes coming up at the end of the first half. The Cowboys lead it 51 to 35. All four. At New Mexico Highlands University, you're more than a student, you're family. Whether you're taking courses in Las Vegas, Santa Fe, Rio Rancho, Albuquerque, or Farmington, you'll get that one-on-one -on -one attention to inspire you to reach your goals. Let New Mexico Highlands help take your passion and accelerate it into a career and fulfilling life path. Find out why New Mexico Highlands is the right choice for you. Log on to NewMexicoHighlands.com today. Second half, and we're underway from Wilson Complex. Richard Tripp with you. Eldon Yowani off to my right, our producer director. 
51-35, the Cowboys lead it. And it quickly, a turnover by Highlands. Here comes Dixie State the other way. Here's a three on the way off and in. Frank Stain found every part of the rim on that one and got it to drop. Raquan in the corner is going to drive and that rolls in. Kind of hung on the back of the rim for a split second. Pressure here by Highlands. Dixie State, no problem. They bring it across. They kick it right side. And a foul is going to be called on Desmond Carpenter. Pagankoff is going to inbound it. They get it in underneath and blocked away by Hall. So once again, they'll inbound it as they are playing down at the west end of the Wilson Complex this half. That's where Dixie State will be shooting. And right behind that wall is the baseball field. Shot goes up short, no good. Desmond Carpenter comes down with it. How about that? Almost fell. Perfect timing from Barnes Tompkins to Raquan, and Raquan just couldn't put it down. Kind of bounced out. Cowboys keep the pressure up. Get it across. They skip it up on top. Now down in the corner. Here's a three on the way. Short. Raquan Mitchell comes down with it for Highlands. Both teams with a basket here in the start of the second half. And Raquan Mitchell goes up for two on the floater. Raquan now with 24. Right side. A fall is going to be called on Highlands, number 23. That is Will Johnson. And Will, that's his third. And he'll come out. Darius Harrison, the 6'7 junior, will come in. Youngblood will inbound it. Reverse layup all the way. Pigenkoff can't finish it. And there's a tie-up underneath, and they'll call a jump ball. It'll stay with Dixie State. Westminster in town tomorrow night. They're up at Pueblo tonight. The two teams will exchange sites as Dixie State will travel to Pueblo after the game. Take the four-hour trip north up I-25, up the Rat Tome Pass into the state of Colorado. This is about a four-hour drive from here. Five-second call is going to be against Dixie State. Raquan has it right side. On over to David Hall, now in the corner. Off by Barnes Tompkins, and here comes the Trailblazers. All the way to the rack, and Pagankoff has a layup. And for Pagankoff, his first two points of the night. All the way, Raquan, and he's going to be fouled. Pagankoff's going to pick it up. His second. Desmond will inbound it. Gets it into Raquan. Pagankoff guarding him. All over to David Hall. Back to Raquan Mitchell. Raquan steps back. Three short. Schofield brings it down. Pigenkoff right side. 
The drive to the layup is good by Youngblood. Raquan over to Desmond. Up on top, Barnes Tompkins. He's going to drive all the way, and he's going to be fouled. So Sammy's going to the free throw line to shoot two here. His first trip at the free throw line tonight. He knocks down the first. Second attempt coming up. Knocks him down. Pressure here by Highlands again. They got the lead back up to 15. Pull up, jump shot, good. Frank Stain, the freshman. Desmond. And the Cowboys almost throw it away. Great hustle by Raquan Mitchell. Barnes goes all the way, can't finish. And he's talking to himself a little bit too. They go underneath and there for the easy put in is Schofield. Malos is gonna come to the free, go to the check-in counter. As is Wilson for Dixie and Newbold. And also Parker, three on the way, good. And a fall. I believe we have a flop called. Media timeout, so the basket count. Mitchell came in averaging 21.1 points per game. He has 27 so far tonight. Seven out of 12 beyond the arc. Here comes Dixie State. A flop warning was issued to Dixie State. Well, Lois now in the game, just trying to get some minutes. Great job by Hunter Schofield. Working it inside. Hunter now with nine. Barnes Tomskins with it. Goes over to Raquan. We need every point we can get. Thank you. He's gonna step back and fire. The man is absolutely possessed tonight. Right side, the three on the way is going to be short and great hustle. That is some kind of hustle by Andre Wilson right there for Dixie State to save that basketball. Mike, Rodriguez, Mike Dominguez, head coach, wanted a 10 second call. He wanted something, anything called. And at the free throw line will be Schofield. Schofield Hunter has 11 points on the night. Three out of five from the line, four out of six. Fourteen fifty to play here. The Cowboys eat it by 13. Inbounded in for Highlands will be David Hall. Gets it over to Desmond Carpenter and everybody will clear out. Parker in the game guarding him. Desmond sees the lane, kicks it out. Raquan for three. Mercy. The man is having an absolute night tonight. 33 on the night for Raquan. Step back, three, back the other way, no good. Battle for the rebound. Bolos comes up with it. Long up court, the layup, count it. One, Sammy Barnes, Tompkins. And 
he'll go to the line for the end one. That fall was on Pigenkoff. He's got three. And he's got 22 on the night. Pressure here by the Cowboys. Trailblazers up on top. 15 to shoot. And a foul is going to be called on Barnes Tompkins. And going to the line will be number 20. That's Andre Wilson. Wilson making his first trip to the line tonight. He's got two points. Make it three. Out of Moreno Valley, California, at a Patriot High School. And now Dixie State's going to pick up full court. They get into Desmond, and they'll clear everybody out again as Parker comes up the court with him. And the fall is going to be called on Parker, his second. You tell me to be quiet. I didn't come get it. Holy cow. Hall's going to inbound it, gets it up on top to Carpenter. Underneath, and Malos is right there, puts it up and in, counted, and one for the big guy. And Patrick just came up with a monster putback for Highlands. High fives all the way around for the big guy. Thirty-three percent from the line on the year. Rims off, no good. Here come the Trailblazers, all the way, coast to coast. I'll tell you what, Andre Wilson's that guy right now for the Trailblazers. He is all over the court trying to get them back in this game. A lot of time left, and the Cowboys lead it 71-54. They kick it out, three on the way, off. Bolos again goes up, can't get it. Now a foul's gonna be called on Patrick. Here come the Trailblazers from the corner. I tell you, that guy right there, Andre Wilson, is bringing him back into the game. Up on top. Here's a shot left side off, no good. The Cowboys with a reset. Up for two, back at the other side is Will Johnson. And a timeout on the floor, the Cowboys lead it, 73. 73-57 is a score, 12-27 to go. Frank Stain with 10, Andre Wilson with nine, and Hunter Schofield with 13 to lead Dixie. Back the other way, layup won't fall. Battle for it underneath and jump ball. Raquan Mitchell has 33 and Barnes Tompkins 22 for Highlands. Pressure here by Dixie as Raquan looks to get it in. 
Barnes Tompkins back it goes to Raquan Mitchell. Raquan will bring it up. He pulls up for the three and that's going to be off. Ball's tipped around and Dixie State comes up with it. Right side and almost lost it. They get it to the cutter underneath. Layup goes up and in by Youngblood. Mimino Lovato has it up on top. Try to go back door with it. And Barnes Tompkins hit the brakes. Media timeout on the floor, 11.38 to go. The Cowboys lead it. 70. I'm up on the mace off here in row. I've never been let down. 73.59 is the score out of the timeout. Dixie State gets it in. Pressure in the backcourt. They get it across to Youngblood. Pagankoff will now run the offense. Ten to shoot for the Trailblazers. Left side, the drive, and a foul is going to be called on Will Johnson. For Will, that's his fourth. Schofield's going to go to the line for the Trailblazers. Knocks down the first. Second free throw on the way, the in and out, no good. Domino Lovato brings it down for Highlands. Gets it across. Hits Hall up high. Hall spinning back out. Domino Lovato for three. Don't go. And a foul's going to be called on Highlands on the rebound. Darius Harrison picks it up. That's his second. And going to the line for Dixie State, Jacob Nichols. At a Gilbert, Arizona. Knocks it down. Lead at an even dozen. And Desmond Carpenter is going to come into the game. Hall's going to check out. They get it to Domino Lovato, who brings it across, and they hit Raquan. Raquan goes up, and it won't fall. So they can get it down to single. Oh, here's a steal by Barnes Tompkins. And it went off his knee. So Dixie can get it here under 10. They hit the side and they throw it away. They had the break, overthrown to Stain. Cowboys catch a break right there. And a fall is going to be called on Dixie State. Frank Stain's going to pick it up, his second. Domino Lovato triggered in the backcourt to Desmond Carpenter. Back over to Domino Lovato. Shot on the way, won't go. So Barnes Tompkins misses last two. They can get it under 10 on this possession. 
Stolen away by Carpenter. Desmond to the rack, lays it up. That was huge. Long way to go, but we gotta look back maybe to that steal right there. Gets it back up to 13. A whistle and a foul is going to be called on Highlands. One and one opportunity coming up for Pagenkopf. Domina Lovato picks it up. What a steal by Desmond Carpenter. Right in front of us, John Judkins having a serious heart to heart with one of the officials. And I'm sure he's not talking about his Christmas list either. Or he's taking him off the Christmas list, one of the two. Second opportunity coming up for Pagenkoff. Knocks him down. Subs it. No play on, now they'll reset it. So that gives Dixie State a chance to reset their press. They get it into Barnes Tompkins. So Sammy gets it across to Domino Lovato. Over to Desmond. Desmond kicks it out. Three point basket, no good by Sammy Barnes Tompkins. Pagenkoff brings it up. They go down low with it, and right there for the layup is Nichols. Raquan almost lost it, gathers it. A whistle and a fall is going to be called on Youngblood. And Raquan Mitchell is going to the line. David Hall will come in for Highlands. And Andre Wilson comes back in for Dixie State. Raquan at the free throw line. Makes the first. That was his first free throw tonight. And he's got 34 on the night. 35. They break it, they come across. Pull up jump shot and it won't go. Ball's gonna be called on David Hall. That's David second. Stain, Frank Stain's going back to the line. He makes the first. His first free throw tonight. Gives me 11 on the night. And the lead is nine. Barnes Thompson in the corner. Desmond for three. That's way off. Now they can get it down to seven, possibly six. The pull up and it goes down and in good. And the lead is down to seven. Over to Desmond. Barnes Thompson goes all the way in a block. Two huge free throws coming up for a semi Barnes Thompkins right here. Jared Green comes in. So Sammy's at the free throw line where he's five for five. Miss that one. Oh. 
Over to the left side. They swing it back up on top. Now over to the right. They go underneath and pretty good defense there by Desmond to come across. Media timeout on the floor. The Cowboys are hanging on. Seven point lead with seven. Julie and Veronica, their family at Capital Ford. Seven minutes and 50 seconds here at 77 70. Cowboys with the advantage. The drive and the floater is up by Wilson. The lead is down to five. Back up on top. Raquan will handle it. Gets the high screen. He pulls up. Three on the way. Won't go. Here comes Dixie State now. Off the foot of a cowboy. And Pagenkoff is coming in. Cowboys need a run here. They have gone ice cold lately. Either that or somebody opened the doors and all that cold air came inside. Really cooled them off. But give it up to Dixie State. Down by 19 at one time. And kept battling and kept battling. Well, that's why they're the ninth ranked team in the nation. Teams like that won't fold. And here they are. And here are the Cowboys up by five with 6.50 to go. They're going to call it on the floor. That one's going against Wilson. And at the line is Semi Barnes Tompkins again. Free throw on the way, and that breaks the drought. And a long drought it was. At one point, the Cowboys led it 73 57. You do the math. They get it underneath, and a foul is going to be called on Highlands. That one's going against Barnes Tompkins. That's his second. And Jared Green's at the line. Green, a 58% free throw shooter on the season. His first trip to the line tonight. Schofield is going to come to the checkout stand or check in. And Green will check out. Pressure again here in the backcourt. They get it into Raquan. They double as they cross. Raquan spinning, gets it on over. Here's a three. Yes! David Hall! With a monster three for Highlands. And we're going the other way. A fall is going to be called on Jacob Nichols. David Hall, the 6'6 senior who is averaging 9.9 .9 per game, came up with a monster three there. His fifth point of the night. They get it into Raquan Mitchell. Raquan will bring it across and a foul is going to be called on number 20 on Wilson. And right in front of us, Coach Judkins is in disbelief. Hands over his head.
And Raquan Mitchell's going to the line. Yeah, right in front of us getting ready to check in is Frank Stain. Missed it. Well, at this point, the Cowboys aren't doing themselves any favors. Knocked that one down, one for two on that trip. Pressure and they turn it over, yes! Under six to play. Parker's coming back in. Right in front of us, Coach Judkins talking to his team. Just to relax and settle down. They're in the game. Hall with it, hands it off to Raquan. Raquan step back three. Yes! Money! Stolen away, and they get it right back. And it'll fall on Hall. Going to the line will be number 10. That's Pagankoff. Makes a first. Makes a second. And here come the Cowboys. Mars Sompkins up on top, 13 to shoot for Highlands. He'll go to the hole, and we got a fall called against Dixie State. Bagenkoff's arguing it. And going to the line again will be Barnes Tompkins. Sammy seven out of eight from the line tonight. Bagenkoff still pleading his case to the official. Back in comes Stain. I enjoy listening to John Judkins, the head coach here, <laughs> off to our right from Dixie State. <laughs> it's been fun. You can tell just by listening to him, man's pretty intelligent. They break it, they come across. Coming up on five minutes to go, and the Cowboys by 12. I think the Cowboys wish there was five seconds on that clock. The runner's off, no good. Sammy comes down with it for Highlands, and a fall's going to be called on number 44 at Schofield. So we walk the length of the floor, and Sammy Barnes Tompkins is going back to the line. Two shot fall, and the first one on the way is good. Nett did not even move on that one. Second free throw is also good. 26 for Sammy. Well 
And I'm sure the Cowboys want that clock to run now. They up by 14. Four minutes, 38 seconds, an eternity to go. Three, yes! Schofield for three. Cowboys came in averaging 93 a game. They're right on it, sitting at 90. The eighth ranked team in the nation in scoring. But right now, the win is all that matters. Stolen away. Pass up court. Youngblood, two on one to the rack. And the layup by Stain. And again, they get it under 10. Desmond with it. 18 to shoot. And Dixie State content just dropping back, play defense, and let the shot clock wind down. 10 seconds on the shot clock. A whistle and a fall is going to be called on Parker. Media timeout's going to be called on the floor. We got a good one. Don't go anywhere. A photo finish coming up at Wilson 9081 Cowboys. We love them. Click in the Santa Fe Auto Park. 331 to go. The Cowboys lead at 9081. Sammy Barnes Tompkins at the line again. 27 on the night for him. Laquan Mitchell leads all scores tonight with 41. Puts him down. And two point basket there. Back to a nine point game again. Desmond will bring it up. Coming up on three minutes to go. 10 on the shot clock. Tompkins steps back and off, no good. A battle underneath, a jump ball, and it goes to Dixie State. With 2.53 to go. Scoreboard says two timeouts apiece. I'm sure Mike Dominguez off to our left, the head coach, is doing everything he can to stay calm. They get it inside, and the Cowboys almost came up with a steal. Now a foul is going to be called on Hall. One thing I got to say about this Dixie State team, they get after loose balls. If there's one to be had, they're jumping on it. Schofield's going to be at the free throw line. 17 tonight for him. That one drops and it's 18 for him. And the lead is down to seven. Or eight, I'm sorry, 92-84. It's hard to see the numbers. There's a three from the corner, off, no good. And Mike Dominguez jumps up and asks Raquan, why did you take that three? It is a seven, make it a four point game. 92-88, they got it corrected. Two minutes to go. Barnes Tompkins looking to make his drive. He does, goes up, and does it. Six point game, 142 to go.
That's Wilson. Goes all the way. And what do we got? Offensive fall call against Dixie State. That's her seventh tonight. And that's five on Wilson. Substitution is Parker coming in. 128 to go. Cowboys get it in. Desmond to Raquan. They'll bring it out. 15 seconds on the shot clock. 110 on the game clock. Raquan makes his move, goes all the way, and they count it. Offensive fall. They take it off the board. 106 to go. One minute. And the Cowboys are trying to hang on. Three and off. Offensive rebound. And a fall is going to be called on Highlands. Darius Harrison picks it up on the rebound. That's his third. And going to the line again will be Schofield. 19 on the night for him. And checking in for Highlands, number 23, Will Johnson. Don't forget the player of the game sponsored by Alta Vista Regional Hospital coming up. I guess it's safe to say who it might be with 41 points for Highlands. But we'll see. It's a four-point game. Timeout, Dixie. Quick timeout. Four-point lead when we come back. They say a life lived without passion. Ninety four ninety. Fifty seconds to go. Cowboys having a hard time getting it in. They just do. Barnes Tompkins gets it up ahead. Look out. They bring it on out. Thirty eight seconds. Down in the corner to Desmond. Desmond reverse layup doesn't go. And Dixie State comes up with the rebound. Three short, balls loose. It stays with Dixie State with 19.2 to go. Young blood will inbound it. They go underneath and tipped out of bounds by Will Johnson. Great defensive play there. 16 seconds. They get it up on top. Here's a three. Yes! Parker with the three. It's a one-point game with 12.7. Twelve seconds to go. Pressure here by Dixie. Inbounding it is David Hall. 12.7. They get it in. It goes to Dixie State with 8.6 seconds. Will Johnson comes in. Nail biting time. And it's kicked.
and a one and one opportunity coming up for Dixie State. Well, no one and one. Timeout's going to be called by Dixie State. 6.1, let's take it quick. First team sales. 6.1 seconds, and Dixie State's going to have it right in front of us. They inbound it underneath, reverse layup, and a fall is going to be called against Highlands. And at the free throw line, number 44 at Schofield with 4.1. Missed it. And Mike Dominguez wants a timeout. Let's take a quick break. It Four point one seconds. And Schofield's going to be at the free throw line. Brown getting into it a little bit. Makes it. We're tied. 4.1 seconds to go. Cowboys inbound it. Here comes Raquan, and he is going to be... We have to go check a replay. Not sure what happened. I think it has something to do with the clock. <laughs> well, what a way to end it, or maybe not. I guess the clock didn't start. They're gonna go back and use a timer. See how much time should have run off the clock. 94-94, Schofield just hit one out of two. So right now, worst case scenario, the Cowboys are going to overtime. They led this thing by as much as 19 at one time. Give it up to Dixie State. We're checking the replay. See how much time should be on the clock. They had to change computer screens is what they had to do. Now they'll check it and get it right. In any event, leading scorers for Dixie State with 22 is Schofield. And for Highlands, Raquan Mitchell with 41. They're trying to determine how much time should have run off the clock. Cowboys are going to have it at and center into it a little bit. Well, makes it. We're resume. tied. 4.1 seconds to go. Cowboys inbound it. Here comes Raquan, and he is going to be. <laughs> we have to go check a replay. Cowboys inbound it. 
Here comes Raquan, and Calvin he is going to be director and in charge of replay and everything else. Brown getting into it a little bit, makes it. We're tied. 4.1 seconds to go. Cowboy bench is looking directly over here. <laughs> Cowboys inbounded. Here comes Raquan, and he is going to be. We have to go check a replay. They're going to put point three on the clock. So not sure what happened. Technically, that's they got some do the clock and get a shot off. Good job, Alvin. <laughs> so that's not even enough time to get a shot off. It says three, but there it is. So point three, uh, this isn't in, I think, it be, I believe it's point six. There's a required time, so the Cowboys will just throw this one at the basket. David Hall will throw it. And there it is, and we are going to overtime. Well, we're going to overtime. Tied at 94. Wouldn't you know it? Come on back. GoHighlands.com today. Here we go to overtime. Five minutes on the clock. Each team is given one timeout. And the Cowboys will have first first possession here. So Dixie State. Here's Waquan off. And Dixie State looking to get their first lead here. Up on top. Here's a three on the way. Off, no good. A rebound is going to be foul is going to be called on Highlands. Darius Harrison picks it up, and that's four. And Schofield's going back to the line. He's had a night. 22 for him. 11 out of 15, including the free throw that sent it to overtime. He drops the first one. Coming down with it was Harrison. So Barnes Tompkins gonna bring it up. Long three on the way, that's flat, but it's good. Cowboys lead it, 97-95 in overtime. Up on top with it, that's young blood. Pace. Over to the left side. Here's a three. Yes. Pagankoff with a three. And Dixie leads it by one. Laquan Mitchell up on top. They double him up as he tries to drive. Barnes Tompkins with it. He sees the lane. He goes up. Won't go. The rebound and going up was Harrison. So Harrison will go to the line and shoot two. Six on the night for him, making his first trip to the line. Dixie State overcame a 19-point deficit to send this thing to overtime with 4.1 seconds. Schofield hit one out of two. Cowboys had a shot at it. And we are in overtime. Knocks them both down. The Cowboys back up by one. Pressure here by Highlands. Right side, thought about it. 
Now they go underneath, and a foul is going to be called on Harrison, and that's going to be the end of the night. Darius Harrison's going to fall out with eight points. Dominguez might use all 20. Well, actually, no. Going to the line, shooting two will be Jacob Nichols. That one found the bottom of the net. Seven for him. Second free throw coming up. Missed it. Sammy Barnes Tompkins comes down with it. Pagankoff guards him. Here's a three. Yes! David Hall! Hall now with eight. Cowboys in it by three. Three minutes in overtime. A whistle and a block is going to be called on Patrick Balos. And going to the line will be Pekinkoff. Jack tonight, four out of four from the stripe. Made it. 251 in overtime. One point game. They get it into David Hall. Here comes Raquan bringing it across. Laquan sees the lane, goes up. The runner won't go. Well, here comes Dixie with a chance to regain the lead. Two and a half to go in overtime. And a foul is going to be called on David Hall. And for David, his night is done. He'll check out with eight. Hagenkoff's going to be at the free throw line as Domino Lovato checks in. In and out. Second free throw coming up. We are tied at 102. 228 to go. They get it in. Lamino Lovato brings it across. Excuse me, gives it back over to Tom Barnes Tompkins. Sammy's right there dribbling. And I'm sure Dixie State right now will play back. Let the shot clock work for him. Raquan for three. No. Dixie State comes up with the rebound. Tie game as we approach two minutes in overtime. In the corner, three, yes! And a fall is going to be called. Timeout is going to be called. Let's take a quick timeout.
105, 102 is the score as they're checking something on the replay again. 154 to go. Dixie State has just taken the lead. In fact, their biggest lead of the night. Cowboys' biggest lead of the night has been 19. They led it at 1.7357, then 77.70, then 90.81 with time running out in the game. Led 60.47 at one point in the second quarter. At the half, they led at 51-35. So here come the Cowboys down by three with a minute 50 to go. Sammy trying to get clear and go to the rack. He does, lays it up. It's a one point game. 105, 104, 132 to 130 to go in overtime. Go, Jack, go. Bagenkoff up on top. 117, 15 on the shot clock. The drive and the basket. And one on Bolos. No basket. They said no basket. So they need to correct the score. 105, 104. So going to the line for two will be Schofield, and that's five on Belos tonight. And coming in is Jalen Munn. And Schofield tonight. Has 24. And he's made a living at the line tonight. 14 out of 19. Now it's a three point game again with 108. The drive off balance and a fall. And who's it against? It's against Dixie State. Nichols picks it up. Jalen Munn's going to the line to shoot two with 55 seconds. So Jalen needs them both, and the Cowboys need to stop. Second free throw coming up. Knocks him down. One point game. 50 seconds to go in overtime. Fifteen on the shot clock, 38 on the game clock. And a travel. And with 36.9, the Cowboys will have it. There'll be a 6.9 second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. So the Cowboys can take this all the way down. 
Barnes Tompkins in the paint. He goes up and good. Cowboys lead at 108-107. 22.8 to go. Down to 15. Down to seven. The spin goes. 2.4. Here come the Cowboys from half court. It's off. It's over. Dixie State Mercy overcomes a 19 point deficit and beats the Cowboys in overtime 109 to.